Hello everyone, Guardian E here with just a quick wrap-up video for the Korovot of Dawn's Rhyme event in Azure Lane, as well as an overview of what we know as far as upcoming events. So, we'll start with the news, what's upcoming, then we'll go right into the polls right after that, and then we'll close things out with my final event wrap-up at the end. I will, of course, put chapters in the description below to break up the video if you want to skip to a specific part. Uh, but first and foremost, just wanted to go over the fact that it has been confirmed that the Iris of Light and Dark event will be getting added to the archives. Very, very exciting. We'll have to see if that means that we get a short-term raid-up for Jean Bart, Massachusetts, Lemalin, uh, Dunkirk, Surkov, among others. It's certainly possible. I'm hoping that's the case for folks that may have missed out on the event and its rerun. I think it's always really nice when they do that. There are some awesome, beautiful ships here. I want everyone to get a chance at pulling for them on raid up if possible, because it is a pain to get them from the regular uh, construction pool when they don't have a raid up at all. Uh, so yes, that also means, of course, that you will be able to farm French gear from the event, including the baguette gun. So much to look forward to on that front. And secondly, they have announced a new collaboration with the WWF. No, no, not that WWF. The Worldwide Fund for Nature. Which means, cute panda skins! Yes, we are getting Ping-Hai and Ning-Hai very appropriately. Uh, each have new skins revealed, little mini event associated with it that will accompany them. Uh, I believe that they will each, the skins, be prizes for completing the mini event, mini event, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't think they're purchasable skins, but I don't think we've seen confirmation one way or another. Uh, but regardless, pretty exciting. I, I'm going to put the mission statement up that, uh, that Yostar did put on their Twitter feed. But essentially, more or less, they're just trying to raise awareness for this great organization. And so because of that, they are putting out this, this little collaboration event. They are also donating $100,000 US dollars towards uh, the WWF's conservation efforts globally, which is all great. I don't, it's not tied to like skin purchases or anything. They are just making this, this donation, which is, which is super cool. So... Definitely looking forward to that. Definitely looking forward to the ability to get the cutest companions, Ninghai and Pinghai. And, uh, and yeah, that'll be fun. And finally, more Coco Collab skins announced and revealed and confirmed for Global. Now, of course, we did get Tashkent skin that dropped alongside the current Russian event that was kind of baked into the event and dropped alongside it. But there was some uncertainty as to whether we would get the rest of the skins. It does seem like they are slowly just trickling them out. And so we will be getting all of them. They did announce Nagato as well as Independence and Le Tamarare. So hopefully, I guess by the end of the month or so, we may end up getting all of the skins here, which would be fantastic. It's always nice when they are able to bring these skins over despite their collaboration status, even if they have to debrand them or whatever it might be uh, in order to get them overseas. So it's always appreciated when they do that. And I'll put up the splash art from the Japanese live stream that did reveal all of these skins so you can see what will be incoming. So I believe that wraps up all of the most pertinent global news that has been confirmed thus far for the upcoming maintenance slash reset. With that, we're going to transition into my daily polls on the Code of Vote of Dawn's Rhyme event to see if I've been able to secure any more additional copies of the event ship, so let's get right into that. All right, well, let's get into my daily and weekly builds and constructions over the course of the event. As most of you probably know, day one, we were able to thankfully sweep the banner, so uh, the pulls that I did were minimal, did one per day, and it was a mix between light and event construction, because if I get dupes uh, of any of the event ships, I can use them to save myself some bullions, not like I'm really hurting for them, but it's 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 nice to be able to. Also, it adds a little bit of spice um, to the to the dailies rather than going for light construction, because all I need from light construction, I think, is one more copy of Swift Shore. So, uh, we got ten of them lined up here. I don't know which of these are light and which of these are event. We'll we'll find out together. And then we got to do two more uh, to round out the week's quest, I believe. So let's let's finish all here. Hope we see some golden flashes and some event ships. Um, and then, <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're, <laughs> we're getting some golden flashes. She's not an event ship, Montpelier, and I don't need her. But that, maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign of what else is hidden in this, uh, in these ten poles. So that is from Light Construction, certainly. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't really need her, but that's okay. 
still still pretty pretty exciting to see that golden flash. And here is oh Concord. Concord's um relatively rarer rare from the light construction pool. There's gonna be a York, so we are getting an elite. Okay, a Norfolk. Chicago. Are we gonna, we're not gonna get any event ships. That's it's fine. Ah, Norfolk again. Well, that's too bad. It's not over until it's over. We're gonna do two more event pulls here. And uh, if we get one, we get one. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and burn the Bullens today, so we can go ahead and sweep and uh, complete the event and get that chat frame. Yeah, unfortunately, wasn't in the cards today. We weren't gonna be able to. Well, unfortunately, that is too bad, but we have a couple of days left of the event. We will do some pulls on those days. Fingers crossed, maybe we'll get an event ship, but even if not, we will go ahead and burn those bullens to be able to secure the chat frame and basically complete the entire event. Okay, this is it. Last chance, last dance. We've got four of the pulls lined up, four event pulls, and hopefully we can snag one of these lovely ladies for Limit Break fodder just to ease the burden a little bit on the bullens. So let's finish all. Uh, win or lose, I'm just going to use the Bullens today to go ahead and fully limit break everybody and grab that uh, chat frame. Okay. Uh, Prince Oigen felt left out because Talon was getting all of the attention. I understand. It's fine. How you doing, Prince? Great to see you as usual. Thanks for making an appearance, but uh, that's at least some medals for me, and we did end up getting an SR, which is kind of nice, and unfortunately that's it. So, in the last, um, I don't know, 16 pulls or so, uh, wrapping up the dailies for the event, didn't get a single event pull, which makes me feel that much better about splurging on day one, of course, because we did sweep. So, um, those are going to be the daily pulls for the event, wrapping up the Korovot of Dawn's Rhyme, and now we're just going to close out the rest. We're going to jump to... Okay, right now I'm just going to show off the fact that we did, of course, get Gromki, so that is great. Good morning, comrade! I'm the Northern Parliament Destroyer, Gromki. It's an honor to serve alongside everyone in this fleet. Very cheerful and very enthusiastic. Glad to have you aboard. Or in stow, uh, in dock, whatever. And here we are on phase two of the call to arms. As you can see, we have well over the 3,000 required training points in order to unlock the new chat frame, Seal of Dawn's Rhyme. So let's go ahead and grab that right now. Yeah, so there we go, unlocked that. And then of course from the event shop, there are a couple of days left of grinding, certainly that I can take advantage of, and I will be taking advantage of, of course, but I can get all of kind of the important things out of the way. So naturally we didn't have to get any talons, which is pretty nice, because obviously we got one on day one. I also got one as a as a drop as I was farming the event, which is also very nice. And we can go ahead and grab this gear, the twin 130. There we go. I've almost finished farming the other Parliament gun that drops from uh, from D3, so uh, hopefully I can wrap that up in the next couple of days. And then uh, we'll go ahead and grab all of the Series 3 Special General Blueprints. Perfect, let's do that. Um, and then we may as well grab all of the General Blueprint Series 3, right? Why not? Usually at this point is where I would use it to buy the um, the weapon skin crates, but they actually didn't have any weapon skins for, weapon skins at all for this event, which is kind of unusual. Um, and I'm not sure why. It, it seems like a little bit of an oversight, but uh, they didn't have it this time, so I didn't have to spend any coins in the shop for them, and uh, I don't have to spend any of these Arcana cubes for them in the event shop either. I will just mention as an aside that I did get all of the synchronization rewards for Hiryu Meta. So, I mean, just doing, of course, the, the runs that you're allotted each day, and we have, of course, 10 days left, so, I don't know, it was maybe like, with 14 days, like two weeks to spare, uh, just with regular and consistent grinding, we did get all the sync rewards. And you don't need all the sync rewards, I think, to max her, because you can get a lot of the materials elsewhere. It's just getting all of the, the copies of Hiryu Meta to max Limit Breaker, but it is nice to know. So, you, essentially, as, as this gauge, unless they make a some significant changes to, to progress and, and accumulation of sync points, you can more or less complete the entire synchronization rewards for a meta ship. 
uh, with essentially two weeks to spare. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, we'll see if that holds true going forward, but at least that seems to be the case right now. And I'll take this opportunity just to plug our guild, the Armada of Culture, on the Lexington server. So if you are on the Lexington server and you're looking for a guild to join, um, feel free to go ahead and send in an application. The ID is right there on the screen, so you can take a look. If you have to ask what the ID is despite it being on the screen, well, I'm sorry, you failed the first test of the application. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so th that's going to be it for the Coravot of Dawn's Rhyme event and overall wrap-up. I had a great time with the event. I think the story was actually pretty compelling. It's advancing the story still you know, still focusing on the characters and the characterization of the ships and the new ships, but also progressing the lore and the understanding of like the history of Azure Lane and you know where these certain these different elements came to fruition. Like what is their what's their what their origins are, um, these mysterious elements of the story. So kind of excited for what direction that is going to take. But uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you're all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there, and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's protect those waters.